Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn about point polygon test. This function takes input a contour and a point and a boolean parameter is taken as input. And let's assume this white line is your contour and you are giving one more input which is your point and you are giving a point out of that contour and this function is gonna return you minus one because your point is outside of that contour. And if you put, if you give the input point inside this contour, it's gonna give you plus one. But if you give the point on this contour, it's gonna, it's gonna return zero respectively. So this is how it's working. But what about this boolean parameter? If you give this input as true, the function estimates the sine distance from the point to the nearest contour edge. What does this mean? For example, if you make it true and your point if here, it's gonna measure the minimum distance to this contour, which is this edge, this vertex, the uh, smallest distance to that point, and it's gonna return you that uh, distance length. Okay, otherwise, the fun if that boolean parameter is false, the function only checks if the point is inside a contour or not. And this function is very useful because of this reason you can check each point uh, relation to the any contour. Let's see in the code part. In here I have a simple code which we already learned about fine contour. I'm drawing a circle and I'm just checking it's uh, I wanna check I wanna use this image in this function for this function. This is a simple circle and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my function parameters via on that image let's call it that uh, what what was the name of that let's see again it was point polygon test and my first import is gonna be my contour this contour is contour array is only one contour including let's see also to be sure that size and we can see this will gonna give us the output one because I have only one contour in my image then we can remove it uh, I'm giving my input then the point I need to declare for example let's declare in the float type is requ it's requesting then giving that and give this boolean type false for now and I'm gonna print it to the console to see the output then okay let's start with the point 100 to 100 but to see where is that point maybe we can use circle function again just change here with P and this is gonna be 15 maybe or 10 then the thickness is gonna be filled and it's done I think let's see the result okay since this point which I'm giving is out of this contour is returning minus 1 let's put the point inside the contour and let's see the result again okay now it's giving 1 plus 1 because the other point I'm giving is inside the contour let's give a point this kind of I forget the y-axis what was that let's try let's find okay this was if I'm not wrong okay so if I give the point on this contour it's gonna return 0 which means your point is on the contour okay and what if I make this false true let's see if it is on the contour it's gonna return 0 because this is already on the contour so it's normal it's returning 0 but what if I make the, the starting case which is 100 to 100 and see the result it's giving you minus minus represent this point is outside of the contour 
and the 174 is the minimum distance to this contour approximately it will is gonna be like this this distance is 174 let's make it inside the contour and it's gonna give you positive positive value which is the smallest which is the uh, 178 the minimum distance to the contour uh, maybe we can give the we already know this circle radius is 250 so if we give the point as 400 to 400 it's gonna give us approximately 250 yeah it's like this why it's not exactly 250 because this is not um, how to say this is not really accurate circle you can see this is pixel wise so that's why it's not exactly 250 this is not a real uh, coordinate system okay and I think uh, for this video I'm done and it's clear how to how to use this function and I again can say that this is really useful in many cases can be used this function see you in the next videos